He is known for being a composer who is a descendant of the royal Chukri dynasty. He was educated in England and became fluent in the Thai language during a five-year period in Thailand. His name is S. P. Santo. In the realm of music, one name stands out as a true legend, S. P. Santo, a remarkable composer and conductor whose impact on the world of classical music is unparalleled. Born in Bangkok, Thailand, Santo's journey into the world of music began at a young age. After moving to England with his parents at the tender age of six months, English became his first language. He received his education at prestigious institutions like Eton College and St. Catherine's College, Cambridge. But it was during his return to Thailand in the early 1960s that Santo truly immersed himself in the rich culture and language of his homeland. During this five-year period, he became fluent in Thai and began to make a name for himself in the literary world. At just 11 years old, he wrote a poem titled, Kith of Infinity, which caught the attention of none other than Shirley MacLaine. MacLaine, believing the poem to be the work of a deceased poet, featured it in her autobiography, Don't Fall Off the Mountain. What fascinated MacLaine was the line, I am not a man, which she assumed was written by a woman. Little did she know that the talented poet behind those words was a young boy on the cusp of greatness. In the year 2000, S. P. Santo achieved a significant milestone as a composer with his composition of Mad Anna, the first orchestral Western opera by a Thai composer. This opera was based on a Thai language play by King Rama VI and was performed in English. Three years later, in 2003, Santo premiered his second opera, May Nak, which also had a Thai theme. Then, in November 2006, his third opera, Ayodhya, took the stage for the first time. Santo's talent and creativity continued to flourish, and in 2010, his opera, The Silent Prince, premiered in Houston, presented by Opera Vista. This was a significant achievement for Santo and showcased his ability to captivate audiences through his compositions. Another opera, titled, Dan No Yura, had its premiere in Bangkok in August 2014, further solidifying Santo's reputation as a distinguished composer. Currently, Santo is engrossed in two new opera projects. One of them is an adaptation of his fantasy short story, The Fallen Country, while the other focuses on the life of Holocaust survivor Helena Citronova. The Snow Dragon, the opera based on his fantasy story, is set to premiere in March 2015 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, under the baton of Visva Subaraman. In addition to his opera compositions, Santo has also ventured into the realm of musical theater. In 2012, his musical, Raya the Musical, based on a serialized novel by his mother, premiered in Bangkok and had a successful run of 20 performances. Another hybrid work combining ballet and opera, titled, Suryothai, premiered in August 2013 and was based on the life of a Thai queen from the Ayutthaya period. Currently, Santo is working on his second musical, Pob, the musical, set for release in December 2015. Santo's contributions to the world of opera extend beyond his compositions. He is also the artistic director of Opera Siam. In 2006, he conducted the first Wagner opera in Southeast Asia, Das Rheingold, as part of a project to bring the entire ring cycle to Southeast Asia. While the project faced delays, Santo conducted the Thailand premieres of other key repertoire operas, such as Thais, Othello, and The Rape of Lucretia. He also embarked on a venture to conduct all of Mahler's symphonies in Thailand, successfully completing the cycle with the performance of Symphony No. 2 in 2015. S. P. Santau's accomplishments in the realm of stage works, particularly in opera and musical theater, have solidified his position as a renowned and versatile composer. His dedication to his craft and his ability to bring stories to life through music have left an indelible mark on the world of performing arts. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.